Now that you're acquainted with the controls and how the mower operates, it's time to actually put it to work. Set the engine throttle to about half speed and pull the blade clutch lever slowly but firmly back to engage the mower blades. Once the blades are engaged, increase the engine speed to full throttle. When mowing, always operate the engine at full speed. This allows the engine to produce full horsepower and optimizes the efficiency of the engine cooling system. Do not engage or disengage the clutch at full throttle. As you approach a tree or other object, pull back on the forward speed control lever to reduce your forward motion and maneuver around it. By slowing down before turning, using smooth control movements and keeping the inside tire moving, there will be no damage to the turf. The Walker mower's low center of gravity and superior traction allow excellent results on slopes. Be sure to reduce your travel speed on a slope and use caution when starting, stopping, and maneuvering. Avoid sharp turns or sudden changes of direction while on the slope, as well as operating on slopes with greater than a 33% grade, one to three. When you are mowing with the side discharge deck, make sure to keep the discharge shield at the lowest possible position to deflect grass clippings and thrown objects downward. Always operate with the side discharge shield in place bystanders may be injured or property damaged by projectiles. Always orient the side discharge away from sidewalks or streets to minimize cleanup of clippings and away from obstacles. For best mowing results, we recommend you always mow with sharp blades. Use an alternating stripe pattern. Keep mower deck and chutes clean and avoid cutting too low. For best appearance, cut off no more than one-third of the existing grass height. In addition, remember to keep the tractor at full throttle and maintain smooth steering control to avoid skidding or slipping tires. To change the cutting height, simply alter the position of the retainer hitch pins on the four deck support pins. Use the lift handles to assist in raising the deck while positioning the hitch pins. When mowing with the grass handling system, keep the catcher door closed to contain thrown objects. For the same reason, never operate the grass handling system with the catcher in the dump position. As you mow with the grass handling system, the blower moves the cut grass through the rear discharge deck chute into the grass catcher, where an oscillating power fill spout uniformly fills the catcher. A horn will sound when the catcher is full. When you hear the horn, stop mowing to avoid overfilling the catcher and clogging the mower. To check the full signal and power fill function, turn the ignition switch on and engage the blade clutch. Open the back door of the grass catcher and gently restrain the oscillating vein on the power fill delivery spout. You should hear the horn signal as the vein is stopped from oscillating. To dump the catcher, Open the back door by lifting the door handle. A safety latch locks the door open to prevent accidental closure. Then lift on the handle on the front of the catcher. Once the catcher is empty, lower it smoothly down to its normal operating position. Do not allow the catcher to drop into place. Close the door by holding the door handle with your left hand and releasing the safety latch on the door hinge mechanism with your right hand. Smoothly close the door, working against the spring pressure that holds the door closed. Keep hands and fingers clear of pinch points at all times. When using a dump bag, hook the bottom of the bag over the rear bumper while lifting on the handle strap. Open the back door by lifting on the door handle. Position the bag around the door frame and then Tilt the catcher back into the bag by lifting on the handle on the front of the catcher with one hand and holding the bag strap with the other. After dumping, lower the catcher smoothly down to the normal operating position. In some conditions, especially when mowing heavy, wet grass, the grass handling system may clog. In case of clogging, the blower sound will stop and the mower deck will begin to leave a trail of grass clippings. If this happens, stop the mower and shut off the engine. 
Be sure all drive line movement has stopped by looking at the PTO shaft before leaving the seat. Clogging may occur in the back of the cutting deck at the GHS blower intake opening or at the GHS discharge chutes. Use a stick or similar tool to unclog the blower chutes. Never use your hands to remove clogged material from the chutes. Use your hand to clear the power fill delivery spout inside the grass catcher. If the grass handling system is routinely clogging, first check to see if the blade rotation is correct and if the blade lift is excessively worn. Then inspect the interior of the deck and all chutes from the deck into the catcher to make sure there is no obstruction and or excessive material buildup. Other causes of clogging may be a dirty or plugged catcher exhaust screen, worn or bent blower wheel blades, or a deck cutting height that is too low. When your mowing job is complete, repeat the stopping and dismounting procedure. Pull the forward speed control lever to the neutral position, throttle down to one half, and then disengage the blade clutch. Do not disengage the clutch at full throttle. Turn off the switch key and make sure the PTO has stopped turning before getting off the mower. 